And as she was busy last week with many activities, we will show you everything. Plus, we will have all your sports and weather coming up. I'm Reagan Eskide. And I'm Ashley French. Your news starts now. The RAC has a new name, and it's one that is very familiar to students and alumni. Harold Williams has the story. Dr. Randall J. Webb was a former president of Northwestern State University, who was also the longest serving president in the history of the school, holding his position for nearly 20 years. On Wednesday, the RAC was renamed in his honor in order to permanently establish his legacy in NSU school history. Uh, today we honored a great man, Dr. Randall Webb, who for over 18 years served as president of Northwestern State University. A man that loved the students at the university to spend his days out and about with the students. Uh, he led our university to record enrollments. He led our university to 100% uh, accreditation of all academic programs. So today we were able to honor Dr. Webb. Uh, me the most is that people did remember his legacy and he was not forgotten and that uh, President Maggio and others saw the importance of having his name on a university facility and the rack. Attending in his honor was his wife Brenda Webb along with other members of his family. I'm Harold Williams reporting for NSU TV. New media, journalism, and communication arts students got a chance to show off their skills. Joshua Roberts has the story. The Department of New Media hosts the first annual Student Media Showcase reception on March 22nd. Photojournalism students. And what a, note, what a way to, for our students, some of the students, maybe the younger students who didn't have the opportunity to uh, know Mr. Roberts. Uh, Mr. Crew was uh, executive assistant to the president, Dr. Randall Webb, for many years, and that was his official title. Uh, but the unofficial titles is what we remember Robert Crew for. We remember Robert Crew as someone that was such such a professional in his job, but he took a caring and liking to so many people. Whether you were a faculty member whether you were a staff, whether you were a student, or whether you were somebody that just showed up in Natchitoches and had, didn't know anything about Northwestern, you quickly learned with Robert Crew. And he did that in a variety of ways. He did that with his wonderful personality. He would go out and talk to anybody. But he also did it in his photographs. And Robert was, besides being a full-time administrator at a university, he was a part-time magician. And he was a part-time photographer. When I say part-time, he was also a professional photographer, as he shot many weddings, many receptions, and all of that in Northwestern honor by naming our gallery up there after Robert Crew. But we thought another way to have this is we showcase our students, our students that Mr. Robert was so proud of that he would go anywhere and everywhere to tell people about the students at Northwestern State University. The winners of the first annual Student Media Showcase were Rachel Godet, J.C. Jones, Jasmine Frazier, and Hannah Morris. For NSU TV, my name is Joshua Roberts. Since the start of the spring semester, our student IDs have been a hot topic. Sierra Jenkins has the story. By the end of July, we found out that we will be going with Bank of Montgomery so that is the reason why we had to record the whole university and get the new logo for our new IDs to accommodate Bank of Montgomery. Re read your student email you will know that they told you that they were switching it so you didn't have to wait in the long lines. One thing I like that they added was the signature on the back. I thought that was pretty neat. You got to sign your card and they let you sign it and put the signature on the back like it's a real debit card. I don't like that they threatened to charge us $20 if we didn't bring our old ID in and trade in our old ID for the new IDs. 
anytime you don't bring back your ID, didn't bring back your ID, we charged a $20 fee to your student ID account because it's considered as lost or stolen. So when we reissued the new IDs, we had to charge a $20 fee. With Bank of Montgomery, you can get a checking account with them and your ID is actually connected, can be connected to your checking account. You can use it as a debit card at the ATM machines and also for the other things that happen on campus as far as you going to the games and your meal plans and everything. KNWD and SAB are busy playing a joint event coming after spring break. Christopher Lewis has the details. The biggest festival at Norwester State University is just a few weeks away. Every semester, the NSU student-based radio station, KNWD, puts on this fun-filled concert with the help of the Student Activities Board and Student Body. This event takes place Friday, April 18th, and is an all-day event. This year is the five-year anniversary for Demon Vest. The theme of this year is Louisiana. Cassie Patton, who is the head of live music and events, told me that the staff was really focused on highlighting the culture of Louisiana. From production performers and vendors, they're all Louisiana based. And one of the headliners is the queen of bounce music. She go by the name of Vic Freedom. This event is free for students with the current ID sticker. Non-students or alumni, you can purchase tickets for $15. The link will be posted soon online. Mark the date, April 20th. Gates will open at 10. Hope to see you there. Welcome, Demons. So Morgan, we've been having some dark clouds and some warm weather lately. Can we say that spring is finally here? Well, Ashley, there has been a lot of warm weather and plenty of pollen. And as you can see by my wet clothes and hair, I think April showers have even got a head start. So spring is here. I'm Morgan, and we'll have more weather with NSU TV News after the break. Northwestern State University offers you the flexibility to take classes and complete coursework on your own schedule. With support from a network of caring faculty, staff, and fellow students, NSU is now offering a flat rate tuition exclusively for online learners. Northwestern State University is nationally recognized for quality, affordability, and student support. To explore our online degree programs and register for classes, visit nsula.edu slash ensu. While at Northwestern State University, I took advantage of a first-class curriculum, majoring in accounting and business. Outside the classroom, I soaked up the opportunities, President of the Student Senate, Mr. NSU. Today, I enjoy a successful career as a financial planner. I'm Greg O'Quinn, a proud and successful graduate of Northwestern State University, and you can be too. Northwestern State University, students today, leaders tomorrow. The Louisiana Scholars College, founded in 1987, combines a great books core program with math and science-based classes. This is what makes it the state's only designated honors college. If you're looking to challenge yourself, your first step is applying today. This is Morgan Hildebrand with your NSU Storm Radar. Our current conditions today are a warm and comfortable 75 degrees with 83% humidity and winds coming from the southeast at 75 miles per hour. Around Louisiana, we have it cooler to a 61 degrees in Shreveport to 64 in Monroe, 75 around Natchitoches, Alexandria, and when we go down south to Baton Rouge, it goes all the way up to 82 degrees. 
as you can see by our demon Doppler radar, we have heavy storms all over Texas, hitting everywhere from Austin, Texas to Lufkin, going all the way up to Shreveport, and soon we'll be heading to our good old NSU. At our global Doppler radar, you can see all over the United States heavy rains, mostly being bad around Texas, and some icy weather up north, but nothing that we'll have to worry about around here. The low tonight is going to be 60 degrees, so you might want to take a little jacket when you go out, and it'll be cloudy. While tomorrow, the high will be a warm 77 degrees with more cloud coverage that you need to watch out for. For our five-day forecast, on Thursday, we'll have continuing rain, much like today, and it'll start to clear up Friday. And you'll start off your spring break on a good note with a sunny and comfortable Saturday with a high of 80 degrees. It'll stay around the high 70s to Easter with more cloud coverage, and then go back down to 73 with more clouds. So hopefully when you drive, watch out for rain, and hopefully try and travel on Friday and Saturday when it's the most comfortable. This is Morgan, and we'll have more NSU TV news after the break. Hey Demons, my name is Lane Lucky and I'm a proud 2008 graduate of Northwestern State University. I want to share some exciting news coming from your alma mater. This fall 2016 semester, NSU will offer four new post-baccalaureate certificates that have tremendous potential to advance your career. These certificates are open to all majors, have one flat fee, and can be completed in one calendar year. The topics chosen are among the highest sought skills in business and industry. We offer post-baccalaureate certificates in business analytics, project management, quality control, and writing for business, industry, and technology. If the timing's not right for you, keep us in mind and tell your friends, colleagues, and acquaintances what a wonderful experience you had at NSU and what a great opportunity this is for advancement in their respective careers. Thank you, and Forkham Demons. What is it about Natchitoches that draws you in? Narrow roads and brick streets? Walking from here to there? No schedule to follow. Sitting, laughing, lingering. Delicious Louisiana food, quaint accommodations, and lots of unique shops. You'll find the only thing fast is how the time passes. Slow down in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Northwestern State University's trademark is positive student experiences. Our university had the best ratings among the nine University of Louisiana system schools on this year's student satisfaction survey. Northwestern was top ranked university for its campus climate, student services, quality of instruction, registration procedures, and being student centered. I encourage college bound students to contact us to learn more about the positive student experience at Northwestern. Louisiana school students are known for their work in the classroom, but recently they got to show off their athletic skills. On March 2nd and 3rd, the Louisiana School for Math, Science, and the Arts hosted its 24th annual SLAMPT competition. SLAMPT is a sporting competition hosted by LSMSA that invites Southern sister schools to compete. This year, the Texas Academy for Math and Science and the Arkansas School for Math, Science, and the Arts made the long drive to LSMSA to compete for the SLAMPT Traveling Trophy. For SLAMP 2017, TAMS took the victory, but LSMSA had every intention of bringing the traveling trophy back to the Eagle's Nest. It means the world to me because of the reaction of our students and how much it means to them. Um, and I'm just so excited and I'm happy for all of them and all the hard work they put in. Go Eagles! A total of 214 student athletes competed for all three schools, with 85 from LSMSA. The students competed in seven events with LSMSA placing first in volleyball, girls basketball and soccer, second in flag football, boys basketball and tennis, and third in ultimate frisbee. As the day of competition drew to a close, it was clear that LSMSA and Arkansas were neck to neck. The first place win came down to the last two events and with the Texas win over Arkansas in soccer and LSMSA victory over Texas in boys basketball, the slant trophy went to LSMSA. Martel Papillon from Oberlin scored the game-winning shot in boys basketball, and the energy in the gym was explosive. Students stormed the court to celebrate the win. I, I, 
I don't feel like I could have hit that game on the shot without the crowd. It was so hype seeing. It was so Definitely. nice to see everybody storm in on the court. Hey, they it's, stormed it's, before we even won. <laughs> Hey, but this oh, stamp man. is one of the greatest events that other city has. Like, this is so unexplainable. Very unexplainable. Unexplainable. For senior Samantha Fernandez, winning slamped has been her goal since sophomore year. I have worked so hard from the beginning of when I started as a sophomore. Our goal was to win slant because we lost that year, my first year, to TAMS. And the fact that we went from not winning any games to a team that worked so hard together and knew each other, not just on the court, but off the court. That's what made it all worth it, and that's what that's what our goal was. That's what we strive for. And the fact that it's my last year, this was my main goal. My main goal wasn't even graduation, it was slammed. Slammed is definitely one of the biggest events of the year, and it brings back many alumni to cheer on the Eagles for the weekend. Earlier during volleyball, I used to play, I played volleyball whenever I was here, and just to have a first place in volleyball too, it just, I almost cried. It's, Slam is such an important thing to, I think, all of us, but especially coming back as an alumni, it's very serious to me. Final standings in this year's Slam were LSMSA with 16 points, Arkansas with 14, and Texas ended up with 12 points. For LSMSA News, I'm Alina Noakes. Spring has finally sprung, and that means baseball, softball, and spring football, and yes, I said football. Reagan Escaday has more on the story. The Northwestern State Demons are practicing hard this spring semester to prepare for a much-anticipated season this fall. Under the new direction of head coach Brad Laird, the team seems to be off to a pretty good start. As a football team, we want to see consistency uh, throughout day one all the way to day 15, but also effort and energy. I mean, we want, we want the tempo on both sides of the ball to be fast. It's the biggest thing is running to the football. You know, that's, that's one thing this, this football team's going to do, uh, especially defensively, but also takeaways. They're getting... Uh, uh, they're getting graded on uh, on effort, and they're getting graded on takeaways. Strength and conditioning coach Jared Myatt has prepared a workout schedule for the team to follow as they prepare for the upcoming season. Basically, this offseason was supposed to be simple. I want to make sure that we uh, hold everybody to be accountable. But accountability was a big thing and be consistent every single day. We didn't try to uh, be crazy in our approach. Everything was, again, barbell movements and running, change of direction. Nothing crazy, nothing uh, trendy, and uh, these guys really took to it really well. We've progressed all the way to spring ball. Guys have done a great job gaining weight, getting faster, stronger, so, and uh, the mentality is starting to slowly change. Left guard Chris Zirkel's goal next fall is to keep points on the scoreboard. You tell from Coach Smiley, Coach Pond, with the Training Valley staff coming in and getting the coaches. They're known for putting up a lot of points. I mean, I think last year they averaged uh, 41 points a game, and I know the year before that, I mean, they averaged 50, 60, 70, around there. Like, so it is just to put up points and put more than uh, you know the other opponent. The Demons will host spring scrimmages on Thursday, March 29th, and Saturday, April 14th. The spring season will conclude with the Joe Delaney Bowl on Saturday, April 21st. For NSU TV, I'm Reagan Eskaday. So Tristan, I hear that the Lady Demon softball team has been doing pretty well so far this season. Actually, Reagan, they've been on fire, but we'll talk about that and more after the break. Dedication. It is more than a slogan to us. It's our commitment to you. We strive to help you become who you want to be, who you can be. You will graduate from Northwestern State University prepared for a career, prepared for life. A university experience founded on 130 years of tradition, laser focused on your future. Northwestern State University, dedicated to one goal, yours. When I was a little girl, my father taught me about business. He had me pick out a company and follow it in the stock market. While a student at Northwestern State University, my interest in business led to a degree in business administration, and that degree is paying off, as I now own my own company. I'm Sherry Talley, a proud and successful graduate of Northwestern State University. You can be too. 
Northwestern State University, students today, leaders tomorrow. Welcome back, Demon fans. I'm Tristan Bennett, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. The Lady Demon softball team is on a roll. This past weekend, they swept Texas A&M Corpus Christi in a three-game series. Offensively, they were led by uh, Emma Hawthorne and Julie Rawls in the first two games with four RBIs each. In Saturday's game, Rawls continues her great hitting with a grand slam in the fourth to cap off a six-run inning. The Lady Demons were led on the mound by Michaela Bovier with two wins, and Michaela Brown by picking up the second game on Friday. They now turn their attention to Magnese State. Well, you know, it's going to be very tough, um, like it always is. It seems like when we, those two teams get together, it seems like there's some, you know, dog fights. And, uh, you know, we've got to continue to do, not get caught up in really who we're playing. We've got to continue to do what we've been doing to get us to this point and be successful and take it one pitch at a time. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we can continue to get good pitching and uh, be able to keep us in games and until we get adjusted or whatever on offense to, to get the runs that we need. I think that's been kind of our uh, recipe for success. And hopefully we can continue to do the same things that's got us to this point. First pitch on Friday is at 6 p.m. And then on Saturday, the Lady Demons will play two starting at 1 p.m. The baseball team also hosted Texas A&M Corpus Christi this past weekend, but didn't fare as well as the Lady Demons. The baseball team also hosted Texas A&M Corpus Christi this past weekend, but didn't fare as well as the Lady Demons, only taking one of three in the series. Friday night, the Demons could only push across one run as the Islanders were able to score six. But on Saturday, the Demons were able to fight hard to the end to have a chance to tie the game at the bottom of the ninth on a David Fry home run and then win the game with a walk-off single by Lenny Cooner. Winning pitcher was Jose Vasquez. Sunday, the Demons couldn't get into the swing of things and ended up losing the series to the Islanders. Now the Demons head to Central Arkansas for a three-game series before Easter. They always got a really good arm on Friday night. Um, I think they got a few good arms this year. Um, and they, they just play the game the right way. They play well. You know, you can count when you, on when you go play those guys um, that he's going to have them playing the game the right way. There's no shenanigans. There's no, you know, there's, it's, it's how we, we like to play the game. You know, it's going out hard-nosed baseball for 27 innings. And you can always count on that when you go up there. First pitch in Conway is at 4 p.m. tomorrow and then 6 p.m. on Friday before finishing the series at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Before the Demons head to Arkansas, they took a trip to Texas last night and took on Lamar in a midweek game and down the Cardinals 7-2. Let's hope they can continue their winning ways as they travel to Conway. The Demon track team will be attending two meets this weekend. Half the team will start at the Texas Relays on Wednesday, while the other half will be at the Texas State Bobcat Invitational starting on Thursday. Finally, the hottest team on campus has to be the Lady Demons tennis team. They lead the Southland Conference after taking down UNO and Stephen F. Austin this past weekend. Now they make the eight-hour trip to Abilene, Texas to take on Abilene Christian Friday, starting at 11 a.m. And for all your demon sports, make sure you go to nsudemons.com to get game recaps, schedules, and more. That'll do it for your demon sports blist. I'm Tristan Bennett. And now I'll do it for this edition of NSU News. Thanks for watching. I'm Ashley French. I'm Reagan Escudet. Have a great night.